So welcome back everyone. If you've been following along, you'll know that my Jeep tends to run warm when the AC is running. Now we've replaced everything in the system except for the radiator. However, it's only two years old, uh, but there could still be a problem there. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch over to testing. And today we're gonna do one test, that's pressure test on the cooling system and see what comes of it. So um, let's look at the kit real quick and then we'll start the pressure test. Okay, so let's just take a look real quick at the kit we're going to use to uh, test the radiator, or test the pressure, rather. And uh, this one's just from Harbor Freight. It's pretty complete. Pretty much has everything in here you need for all your major brands of cars. Um, it actually doesn't have one for the Jeep, but you have this little universal guy right here. And then you have these little stems that plug into that. So pretty much any car you should be able to do. Um, you have your pump with your gauge on it. Uh, you have your connection side with your release, release valve. Now, one thing to know about this little release valve here is that uh, sometimes this will stick and you'll get a leak. So just make sure if you do have a leak on the gauge, uh, make sure it's not coming out of this uh, release valve here. With that, let's get into it. Let's take a look. Okay, first things first, let's get this cap off here. Now we're gonna take our universal adapter and put it together. And these little tangs right here, uh, Basically, these just kind of grab onto your lip of your radiator neck. So, put them like so. And then now we just make sure it's centered and we just give it a little, little tension here. Okay, there's that. Should be nice and sealed. Next thing we're gonna do is pop this guy on here and then we're gonna pump it up. Okay, here we are. We're at basically 18 pounds, just a little tiny bit under. The directions tell you to go to 15, uh, but I have an 18 pound system, and you can tell what kind of system you have based on the top of your radiator cap. So now it's a, just a sit and waiting game. Um, we're gonna leave this here, and I'm gonna let it sit for actually about 20 or 30 minutes, and then we'll come back and see if it's dropped any. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes now, and you can see the gauge has not moved at all. So. Uh, that's a good sign, actually. It means that we don't have a leak in any of the system at all. Uh, specifically, no leaks in the radiator or any hoses or anything anywhere. Uh, now, when it comes to a cracked head or a faulty head gasket, this is one method, uh, but you should use a few more. And we're gonna do about two more tests to make sure it's not a head or a faulty uh, gasket. Uh, now, we do know that the system can maintain pressure and that we're not getting coolant forced into the engine. What we don't know is that when the piston comes up, uh, if it's forcing exhaust gases, um, into the coolant system. That we don't know yet. There's a few more tests we can do to figure that one out. And they're not too expensive. So I think that's gonna be our next step. For now though, we can rest assured that the radiator and the whole system can hold pressure. So let's go ahead and bleed this out. All right, there you have it. There is one test you can do to help figure out if you have an issue with your cooling system. With that, thank you guys for watching. Hit in the comments below if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next video.